it'll take time, we think. All right, it will take time. That is the word uh, from Jerome Powell on the inflation uh, from here on. But uh, in fact, we also got in some comments from former RBI Governor Raghuram Rajan on the Fed's rate hike. So let's listen into that as well. This was expected. He basically, I mean, the Fed raised uh, interest rates as expected. But Chairman Powell also came in with, uh, you know, slight uh, mollifiers for the market. Yes, over the next uh, meeting or two, we will start slowing the pace of rate increases. But we're going to go higher than you expected. Uh, because, I mean, he did say that we haven't seen much of an effect on inflation yet. And the labor market is red hot. So we need to do more. Uh, I think the one additional piece of dovishness was we don't need to see inflation come down significantly before we slow the pace of rate hikes. So that, uh, for, for a while, the market took some comfort from that. But in general, it was, it was relatively hawkish. Well, I don't think even the Democrats, if they held on uh, to one or both of the houses, would, uh, would really have uh, large new spending plans uh, underway. I mean, given the high inflation, given that some of the uh, Democratic senators are against uh, significantly more spending, I think even they would be circumspect. But I think with divided government, I think big fiscal spending is certainly uh, completely off the table. And uh, to the extent that that helps the Fed, uh, yes, that's that's certainly right. Um, you know, I, I think what is uh, what is important going forward, however, at this point is fiscal itself. Uh, even if it just runs as it is uh, running right now, is becoming more contractionary. Again, another point that uh, Chair Powell said. All right, some important comments there coming in on U.S. Federal Reserve's move last night. Now, the U.S. Fed Reserve is not alone, though. The Bank of England is expected to also raise interest rates by 75 basis points today. Its largest, remember, rate hike since the year 1989. So it's going to be historic. However, the economists believe that policymakers will strike a more dovish tone looking ahead as the prospects of a recession deepen. So again, to the whole conundrum of growth versus inflation. In fact, CNBC's uh, Arabile also gets us an update on the Bank of England's bond auctions and rate hike expectations. On Tuesday, the Bank of England became the first major central bank to sell off assets accumulated during its 13-year-old stimulus program. Now, the Bank of England received solid demand from investors at its first auction to sell those government bonds. It does aim to sell £6 billion of gilts across eight auctions in November and December. This makes the central bank a test case for how quickly markets can shift away from easy money policies. Let's remember that the UK central bank was buying government bonds as recently as a few weeks ago. This was aimed at soothing markets after the mini-budget here in the UK roiled the gilt market in late September. But more stability since the departure of Liz Truss from 10 Downing Street means the central bank may not have to raise rates by as much this week, with a 75 basis point hike still expected. The bond auctions are aimed at reversing the quantitative easing program that helped prop up the economy through the global financial crisis, as well as the pandemic. Quantitative easing did see the BOE buy bonds in financial markets to push interest rates to near zero, with hopes that easier money would give investors confidence and help foster growth. The governor of the Bank of England, Andrew Bailey, will hope, however, that reversing quantitative easing, dubbed quantitative tightening, can run in the background and leave the focus of the Bank of England's benchmark lending rate as the main tool of managing monetary policy. The sales do come at a delicate moment for the Treasury and Bank of England, which both have pivoted away from stimulating the economy toward restraining inflation, which has surged to a 40-year high. That's left analysts and industry surveys suggesting a recession could be underway. All right, thanks a lot for all of those details. We'll, of course, keep you posted with the central bank action. But with that, it's time for another short break on the show. On the other side, we should focus and talk politics. Elections to be held in Gujarat on the 1st and 5th of December. More details on that after this short break.